people get from point A, idea, to point B, action on that idea. Would that be okay with you? Yes. All right. The productivity principle that I talk about in all of my workshops and with all of my coaching is I am productive when I do what I said I would do in the time that I promised. I am productive when I do what I say I'm going to do in the time that I promised. Who do we make most of our agreements about what we're going to do with? Somebody help me. So a lot of today is going to be about self-management. How do I manage me when I show up? Who has a committee inside their head? <laughs> now those of you just talking to yourselves, that's your committee. It's almost saying, I don't talk to myself. What do you think I'm crazy? I'm not crazy. Start your day right. What did Kevin Carroll remind us of? What did, what did, what did Pop Pop say? Anyone remember? How's your want to? How's your want to? Well, I've been doing something for a lot of years. I, I stay in hotels for my business. Well, I travel around and then I talk to companies, but I have to stay in hotels. Every hotel I check into, inside of my dog bag, inside of my little uh, uh, toiletries bag, is an Expo whiteboard pen. You've seen one of these, right? When I check into the hotel, I have this little routine of where things go, where, things, where I put things. On the mirror of the bathroom, before I go out to dinner or go out to exercise, on the mirror of the bathroom, I write down why I'm presenting the seminar to that company tomorrow. That's my want to. That's my so that. Now, in one year, I checked into uh, hotels. I stayed in hotels 268 nights. <laughs> I wound up starting to take pictures of what I was writing on the mirrors because it was so good. <laughs> Now, what's fascinating to me is the theme was the same, but the words would change. How many of you came to BP Las Vegas and you thought you knew why you were going to be in business next year? How many of you had that shift over the past three and a half days? Clap your hands. Our attention span. I've just always believed that my attention span is about half people's age in minutes. Seems to work. <laughs> I taught junior high, 7th and 8th grade. I taught some high school. I did some city college classes. Uh, looking at the audience, it looks like I've got about 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> but here's what we know about attention span. If you're going to leave this workshop and go into an implementation plan that requires time blocking, and you've never time blocked before in your life, are the people who have never time blocked before in their lives that you and I still work with, you might not be able to block a two-hour focus time. 